Hi, people. I just left, uh, I'm just leaving. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. I'm just leaving Park Rose Hardware. And I'm just becoming, as a human being, I'm becoming somewhat concerned about a growing trend. It seems to be people have absolutely and completely suspended their common sense, logic, and reason. It's they, they have none. I was just in the store, and I'm in Washington State, okay? There is, you know, oh, masks only for the unvaccinated is the thing, but there's no, nothing in place to, you know, verify a vaccine passport or credentials for that. So basically they're saying you don't have to wear your mask to go to the store, nobody's gonna ask you. So I was just in Park Rose Hardware and probably 30 people in the whole store. I was the only one not wearing a mask. Um, yeah. So where to begin with that? Uh, I guess it is just a case that I'm a selfish prick and everybody else in the store is so concerned about their fellow man and his safety that they wear their masks at all times. Just like the people riding their bicycle down the street with their masks on by themselves. That guy is way better than me. See, I'm a selfish prick and I don't care if I spread disease to people, but but that guy on his bicycle wearing his mask riding by himself, well, he cares so much about his fellow man that he wears that mask everywhere he goes just to make sure that even though there's nobody conceivably in his vicinity that he could possibly spread it to, he's protecting them. Because you know, you wear the mask to keep you from spreading it, not to keep you from getting it. Which leads me to something I was thinking about the other day with all these people that are wearing their masks everywhere other than, you know, D to D, uh, and that is, everybody's heard that, oh, it's to keep you from spreading, it's to keep from spreading, if you don't wear your mask, you could spread it, right? <sighs> so these people are wearing their masks everywhere they go, even when there's no one around them. Do you think it's to keep from spreading it to somebody, or do you think it's that, even though we're told that it's to keep from spreading it, these people deep down they believe that it's protecting them to wear their mask that could be the only psychological reason why so many people would be wearing their masks when they're by themselves they think it's obviously they shouldn't be thinking that they're going to spread it to somebody who's not fucking there right hello so they actually believe it's protecting them even though it's not right you can't catch an imaginary disease so I've heard <laughs> So yeah, I uh, I like there's no there's no law or body of governance that is enforcing some sort of check on people. They could go to the store without their mask on unless they were honestly so hooked into the story that they just in their heart of hearts knew that it was for a fact this is what's happening and this is why and I'm protecting myself or I'm protecting you, excuse me. They're prote thanks for protecting me. All you people wearing your masks right now when you're not near anyone, thank you for protecting me. God, I, I'd probably be dead already if it weren't for your vigilance and wearing your masks all the time. Good looking out, brother. <laughs> That's basically the gist of this video. You know, it's so ridiculous, I kind of get flabbergasted trying to speak about it because it's so utterly stupid. Our nation is collectively dumber than a box of wet shit. Like, oh, oh well, common sense tells me that I can't spread a disease to somebody that I don't have <laughs> and um, when there's nobody near me. But the TV said that you should wear a mask and so I'm gonna wear my mask at all times. Even when I'm walking down the street to the store and nobody's within a hundred yards of me in any direction, like that guy right there, I'm gonna wear my mask because I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. That's the role of the police. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Give up your weapons and step toward the train. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Let me see your vaccine passport. I'm protecting you. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're protecting me. You know, I'll get a newsflash for you. No cop has ever protected anyone from anything. Hello, McFly.
How can the cops respond after something happens? The only thing that will protect you is making a better society. And that starts with acting correctly and not upholding and reaffirming this notion that everyone's a criminal and we need giant prisons everywhere to break up families and destroy lives. You know, that's what they do. That's the reason they have this big police state in America. It's not because we love our freedoms. Oh, we got to protect our freedoms by imprisoning half the population to make sure that they're not infringing upon your rights. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Dee -dee -dee. I'm dumb as a box of rocks and I vote. Fuck, whatever. Fucking people are retarded. I'm going to have to put the, uh, the uh, 18 and older on here because we don't want any kids listening to this type of, of you know talk because oh well then they'll think that their tv might be lying to them if they listen to me and then the, and then what would we have well gosh that could be terrible because then they'd get they'd die of some horrible disease and it would be all my fault because i'm such a selfish prick for not wearing my mask and spreading this disinformation like this right this is my disinformation actually let me say this for youtube so that the ai computer fact checker that you know goes and listens to what you say and then checks the news reports and sees if you're uh, contradicting them and then if you do says you're spreading disinformation you're not allowed to say that how is that any different than the fucking stasi or nazis or nasa that's a different story stasi how is that any different than the eastern Bloc freaking cold war shit they listen to everything you say and if you contradict the you know accepted um, scenario, if you contradict the government or you contradict the collegiate professionals who are telling you what is true and what isn't true, well, then you're silenced. So much for free speech. Actually, the free speech ended in America for sure, I mean, at least on uh, Craigslist, in 2008. Since then, you haven't been able to post shit. You say anything legit or real and you get flagged and removed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like a, uh, a Democrat, Republican, mainstream news circle jerk going on on any politics forum. Do you believe the Democrats or the Republicans? And you, there's no ground in between. You believe the doctors and the scientists that are in the television, and you believe the Democrats or the Republicans, or you're a conspiracy theorist wacko who doesn't know anything and should be shut up immediately for causing, you know, hysteria in a time of crisis. If I saw any evidence in the real world that CV-19 was real, I might believe it. Unfortunately, I don't, which is not really unfortunately. I'm glad that, you know, lots of my friends and family aren't falling dead. You know, people who are perfectly healthy suddenly, oh, I got the CV, oh, it's the Black Death, and they fall over dead. Now that's a pandemic blood coming out of your fucking nostrils and bleeding sores in your ass and shit. That's a pandemic, okay? Fucking, <laughs> um, when you go on TV and report that elderly people with fucking stage four cancer are dying from a virus that's on the loose, that's not a pandemic. That's just reporting that people are dying and saying that it's a virus. Hello, McFly. Does it take a rocket fucking scientist to see the propaganda? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? The rock is cooking propaganda. It's bullshit. Bullshit. Ba 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 ba. Oh oh oh. Shit shit shit. Obviously. I'm just. I'm like. I'm an INTP personality type, and I'm kind of an aggressive INTP at times. I mean, I'm really mellow to tell you the truth. But when I'm confronted with absolute fucking stupidity on every level from nearly all the people I see, it kind of makes me on edge. I feel like I'm living in a world of ass backwards retarded lemmings and they're all hurting towards the cliff and they're trying to scoop up everybody along with them. Oh, we're all gonna die. Let's wear our masks and go get shot up with some hastily prepared and untested vaccines. What could possibly go wrong? Come on, everybody. We got to inject every person on the planet or the human race is going to die. That's what they must believe. It's fucking stupid as shit. I mean, and if you call yourself a Christian or any devout faith believer in God and you buy this shit, 
you must think God makes crap. Does God make crap? You know, God made the whole world and the universe and everything and the human race and put us here and he loves us, but he doesn't really know what he's doing and we're all probably going to die from a perfectly normal virus that's sprung up into the world and is killing everybody and now we're all going to die and it'll be the end of the world because... Because why? Because, oh, apparently God didn't think that far ahead. He didn't know what he was doing. He was hastily preparing the people, and he forgot to put in some mechanism by which they can defeat, you know, bacteria, fungus, and viruses. That's what's going on. If you believe that this stuff is real, and you're a Christian, or, or any faith, and you're going around spreading this propaganda, you must believe that God makes crap or that God isn't really in control. And, you know, obviously your faith is bullshit then. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you, um, if you don't believe that God makes crap, then what are you worried about? Well, oh, the disease could still, you know, get everybody. Maybe it's, you know, it's not God. It's, uh, um, it's mankind did it to ourselves. And, well, if that's the case, then we deserve what we get, okay? But <laughs> that's, you know, kind of a fucked up way to have to look at it. Uh, you know, God doesn't make shit. You know who makes shit? Your leaders make shit. They shit it all over the place. They shit it right out their television, right into your brains, and people are gobbling it up. I'm gonna stuff my mouth with some more shit. Oh, I'm gonna go home quick after work and watch the nightly news so I can know what's going on in the world. You know, there was a time when, uh, when I was young, in the 70s, when I was a kid, and my parents and their friends and stuff would tell me to quit watching so much TV. You can't believe everything you see on TV or hear on TV. It's all, some of them would even go so far as to say it's all bullshit on television. They just say whatever. You know, they're saying what I'm saying now. And I was skeptical of it then. I'm not now. But they were saying that. But those same people today... <laughs> They are taking their pills and they're wearing their masks and they believe everything that was said on television about this dreaded disorder disease that's sweeping the world that requires us all to give up all our rights and freedoms and uh, enter into a med medicinal police state. But hey, it's all right because, you know, it's all for the kids. We're protecting the kids. We're setting a good example for the kids by doing everything the television says because, you know, smart people know that they don't need to think about anything or question anything. Why, Google's already figured all that out and they're putting it on television for us. Who? Only stupid people ask questions because they don't know how to watch television and learn things. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. Fucking people are retarded. And I don't mean the Down Syndrome people. They are literally have retardation of the mental capacities. That's one thing. When I say that, I'm saying it in the context of Carlos Mencia. I'm dumber than a box of rocks and I vote. And I wear my mask and I believe everything I see on TV. Well, no, I don't really believe everything I see on TV. That would be stupid to believe everything you see on TV, obviously. But, you know, the big things um, are of really important. And uh, there's, uh, you know, highly paid professionals who fact check the things that are said on television so that they're not giving erroneous information. And, uh, and so the networks know that if they lied about things or, or didn't check their facts, that, that they would get shut down for, you know, not telling the truth and not fact checking. See, there's highly paid people at every network who fact check all this stuff and make sure that the network doesn't give out any wrong information. So that's why on big issues, we can trust the television news because they can't lie. You see, it's impossible because of the double and triple checks. It's a redundancy check on the truth that they perform to make sure none of us are being misled and lied to. And they're, you know, held to the standards by our honest and reverent government who has these rules in place. And they enforce them to make sure that networks don't lie to you about what the government says is true. And of course, our government is made up of duly elected people that we voted for and are accountable to us. <laughs> 
so that um, should things get out of whack and our democracy begins to go sideways and we need to use our voices of, and our free speech in order to correct the government and keep it on track, then we would do so and then it would become corrected. See, so it's impossible for our government to get too far out of whack either. Because, you see, we the people have rights and freedoms and free speech. And so if any of the stuff that I'm saying is true, then people would be out there talking about it and protecting us in that way. And, well, they're not. So obviously their TV's telling us the truth, right? Makes a lot of sense. Let's never question it. Sign up for our free government health care, hey? What do you say, everybody? Come on. Everybody needs a... Everybody needs a vaccination because God makes shit. God makes shit and he doesn't know what he's doing, so the whole human race is going to die unless we people come up with a vaccine that's going to save us. Oh, gosh. God makes shit, but luckily, us human beings came up with a wonderful injection, that you two injections, that will save you from this dreaded disease that God can't do anything about and obviously isn't in charge of. Boy, now I'm glad we figured that out. I guess that just means there's no God. It all comes down to man. Man is responsible for saving his own life. And therefore, these vaccines are real and good for you. And they'll protect you. You should get all the vaccines you can. Did you know you could get 25% off your groceries if you get a flu shot when you go in to get your groceries? How much you want to bet there's no system in place to keep track of how many flu shots you get? (laughs) <laughs> There's probably dumbass motherfuckers who buy lots of groceries for lots of people and go in and get one every time they get their groceries so they can get 25% off. I mean, that's a lot to take off on, a, you know, $100, 25 bucks off per hundred. That's a pretty significant savings. I mean, you'd be an idiot not to get a flu shot when you went grocery shopping. It makes a lot of sense, Right? And we all know the pharmaceutical companies that are making this stuff have a, just an unblemished track record of honesty and transparency. I mean, they've never misled or been wrong about anything. They're, they're just top-notch professionals. And, you know, I mean, you can tell they're professionals by the amount of money they make. Clearly, you know, people who are medical professionals and save lives every day are in high demand and therefore that's why they earn lots of money. They don't become medical professionals to earn lots of money. They do it because they love people and they want to help save lives. And then because they're so good at it, they uh, they get highly paid. That's what's going on. And just in, a, in a kind of the same light, the pundits on television, on the news and the talking head shows, they... Um, well, they're, they're highly paid and so that they can't be compromised, you see. They make all that money so nobody can bribe them with, you know, cash because they don't need it. And that's why we can trust what they say. Your Hannity's and O'Reilly's and your Carlson's and, and those types, your, your, you know, Wolf Blitzer's and your, <laughs> I'm about to say Carson Daly, whoever that Carson fag is, you know. It's just utterly freaking ridiculous. This must be what people think. Oh, you know, they're they're highly paid, so they can't be bought off. That's how I know that my pundit is telling me the truth. And they're arguing from a standpoint that they truly believe in, not one that's given to them by the network who pays them. <laughs> There's two ways to look at it. They make so much money they can't be bribed, or they make so much money because they are bribed. They know they're bribed. They know they can't say they're bribed, and so they go out and espouse to the beliefs that they're presenting. Dr. Mayo of the Mayo Clinic says that the only water you should drink is distilled water because it detoxifies your body because it's not loaded up with things already and it can carry the toxins out. I guess Dr. Mayo didn't know what he was talking about in that respect. He was good on everything else, but when it came to the water, he was kind of a wacko, right? Yeah, okay. Makes a lot of sense. Let's go with that, because, you know, modern medicine has figured out how everything works, and 
in order to keep people from, you know, spreading pandemics and destroying the human race, we need everyone to believe and thoroughly accept that our Western medical has figured everything out, how the human body works, how biology works, what nutrition is and what it means for each person, what healthy blood levels are of different, you know, compounds and chemicals. They figured it all out. And now in order to save the world, you are required to believe it. You're re you do not have the right to doubt your doctors in America. You have to believe that what they're saying is true, that they got it figured out, they didn't make any mistakes, and of course that they're above being compromised and made to lie for some agenda of evil nefarious control freaks who want to rule the world. I mean, that could never happen, obviously because they're highly paid and they pay them that much so that they don't have to be bribed to lie, right? Just like the pundits. That's why they make lots of money. And the firemen, they make lots of money too because, you know, they uh, uh, rush into burning buildings every day and save babies. I mean, obviously, duh. That's what, every day there's a big fire and they're rushing in there and saving people. That's what's going on. Anyway, I was going to go work on this bike. I just faced my turn, so <laughs> I'm out here in the countryside. So anyway, that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, you know, you are required to believe that Western medicine has it all figured out, isn't making up anything to lie about, and can't be compromised. You have to believe that in America, or you're in violation of the law. Straight up. And when the, when the mandatory vaccination thing goes into effect, because it already is, they, they try and push it already on the children. I mean, there's not a person in America who was born here who wasn't shot up with something already. You know, it's, it's just par for the course because it's accepted. Once something becomes a, an accepted delivery system, once a delivery system becomes unquestioned, well, then what is being delivered through that system could be anything. I mean, isn't this fucking common sense to anybody who uses logic and reason and has a brain and self-preservation instincts? You know, there were never airplanes striping the sky except at the air show, and they were multicolored. Okay, but now, 24-7, year-round, in every environment, from the freezing cold to the blistering hot sun, every environment everywhere all the time is now having con trails and I emphasize the word con con trails can happen anywhere and everywhere and in fact do at all times now <laughs> even though there wasn't one at all to be seen in the area that I live in ever prior to the late 90s and now everybody seems to have a disorder man woman and child you know I've looked at the statistics and they're presumably legit and they seem like they are that when I was born in 1970 there was not a children's cancer hospital at all anywhere because children with cancer was fucking unheard of if a child had cancer doctors would go from around the world and fly there to check them over and try and see for themselves what might be causing it and now there's a children's cancer hospital in every major city in the country. That's what Western medicine has given us. They've given us a children's cancer hospital in every major city. I guess we needed one and we just never knew it. They've given us Alzheimer's rates off the charts, through the roof. If you live long enough, it's a guarantee you're going to get Alzheimer's. You know, <laughs> they've given us highest cancer rates in the known world history ever. They've given us what? All of this they've given us. In just the short amount of my 50 years, they've given us all these things. They've given us autism from 1 in 4,000 to 1 in 18. You do the math. What's the percentage? Somebody write in the comments what the percentage of increase in autism rates that is to go from 1 in 4,000 to 1 in 18 because I can't do the math right now. This is what Western medicine has given us. And... In order to believe that they're looking out for your best interest and doing a good thing, you either got to be 
absolutely brain dead, completely gullible to the point that anybody tells you anything, even if one person tells you something and then one minute later somebody says something contradictory and you believe both of them. That you gotta be that fucking stupid or just completely inept or just don't give a fuck which is probably where most people are. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm just going to go out and get some pussy and do some dope and get drunk and have fun. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. While you get sick and die, you know. It's not about living forever. It's about living with cancer. Welcome to the future. You're not in it. Thanks. Thanks a lot, America. <laughs> Real good job there, Dr. So-and-so. Wow, shoot me up with some of your stuff, because obviously you got it all figured out with our, you know, off the charts rates of every disease and disorder known to man, and now it's affecting everyone right down to the newborn babies. And what are they doing? Shooting up newborn babies. The moment they're born, they take them from the mother into a different room and inject them with something. Oh, what is this to make them healthy? Yeah, and, and the disease rates are climbing through the fucking sky they're they're up in the stars they're astronomical and it's all exponentially thank you alan russell exponentially increasing it's ridiculous wake up america there is no freedom there is if there if you don't have the right to decide whether or not you get injected through your skin with something from a needle you don't have rights wake the hell up what the hell is wrong with people? You know, I remember even in my teens, that would be in the 80s, which wasn't really that long ago, where I would overhear conversations of the adults talking about, well, that's gonna violate our privacy, blah, blah, blah. It was a big concern to have your privacy violated then. It was a big concern that the government's all up in your business. What happened to those people? Oh, well, you know, that was the 80s. It was a concern then. Now we know that it doesn't really matter. Privacy is no, no big concern. How could we have a free society without privacy? I mean, with, with with privacy. If you have privacy, then people can plot against you in secret, and that's not freedom. That's tyranny. So, you know, our forward-thinking and intelligent governmental agencies decided that uh, the best course of action would be to put cameras and recording devices in everywhere at all times, drones flying through the sky, satellites watching you, and all of your devices in your home and appliances spying on you continuously, but we need this to make sure that nobody's rights are violated. I mean, how can we make sure that nobody's rights are being violated unless we watch everyone all the time? It makes a lot of sense. Let's never question it, right? It makes a lot of sense. Well, gee, now that everybody is watched and tracked at all times, now none of us will have our rights violated. Yay, the government's protecting me. The big police state. I mean, that's the stupidity of the right-left paradigm is just this. The right side says, oh, it's a nanny state. The Democrats want to create a nanny state where they take care of everything for everyone. Oh, that leaves you, you know, that's tyranny. It's not freedom. And the alternative is the Republicans. <laughs> They want to create a police state with a giant prison population and guards everywhere and guns everywhere because, you know, that's the only way to be free. You know you're free if you can drink booze and own guns and shoot fireworks. That's all you really need to be free. Heck, look at how free I am. I'm shooting my guns and shooting off some fireworks and getting drunk. Woo, I'm free. Yay for freedom. Do you see how both sides are dumber than a box of wet shit? No? Does anybody get it? Am I just making no sense whatsoever here? When you register to vote and you sign that thing, the paper, you are consenting to what they're doing. Voting equals consent. You're agreeing to abide by the outcome of that election and let the people who win, whether you were for them or not, decide what's going to happen in your nation. So voting equals consent. That's just fucking common sense and these people that are, oh you gotta vote vote or die they're fuck you fucking bullshit you retarded ass clowns voting equals consent that's common sense that is simple logic 
you agree to abide by the outcome of the rules, that's a contract and you've just agreed to it. And your leaders are putting this stuff in place and that's what you get, right? That's what you get. It's just redonkulous. Okay, I'm at my job. Yes, job. Working on things. Doing stuff because I have skills and talents because, you know, I learned things when I was growing up and paid attention and didn't do drugs, didn't drink. So uh, my brain works and uh, I think about things, which is kind of bad because it's troubling. If you have a brain and you use it, then you spend most of your time trying not to think about things because there's a lot of bad bullshit going on right now. And if you think about it, you realize that it does affect you and it does affect your family. And it is the number one thing that you're dealing with right now. But let's not think about that, right? Let's just go get our injections and wear our masks. And if, and if uh, you know, if we end up in a FEMA camp and the economy collapses and there's mass chaos and hysteria and death and diseases everywhere, well, it's perfectly normal. It's perfectly, if it's happening, it's perfectly normal. Never forget. If it's happening, it's perfectly normal. Otherwise, it wouldn't be happening. So therefore, there's no need to question anything. Remember, only, only stupid people question things. Because smart people know that the answers were already figured out and they're on the internet. <laughs> Excuse me, the internet's full of BS. Um, They're on the nightly news, that's right. Because highly paid professionals who can't be, you know, bribed are telling you the truth. And highly paid doctors are using that money to really burn the midnight oil. You know, they're getting paid a lot because they put in, you know, so many hours of research to figure out just how to, how to, how to beat these dreaded diseases. So remember... Meet me under the Kim Trail skies by the big cell tower and let's race for a cure together. Come on, it'll be fun.